Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today's a little bit different because I'm going to be doing my first ever tutorial. Yes and it's on my hair. I get a load of people asking me about my hair. Is it my hair? How do I style it? So yes it is my hair. These are dreads. I've had them for over 15 years now. I cut them regularly that's why they're this length. How do I style it like this? Um, I use a curling technique which doesn't need any accessories you don't need any curlers or anything like that um, you can just use some hair products and that will be about it so even though my hair hasn't just been washed I'm gonna show you how I do this how I achieve this look so usually my process would be that I've washed my hair it's wet now I've just towel dried it so it'd be straight and I would select six at a time because mine are so small I do six six dreads at a time two four five and I obviously want them to be quite close together so this is my bunch of six and I would take the two front ones because I want them to be quite curly because they're at the very front hold the rest of the bunch and take my two and wrap them round like this. I'm just wrapping them round and round and round and round. And I've got to this point where they've all wrapped round like a snake, I push them up. You get that at the top there. Once I have that, I take another two and I wrap it round. I also wrap it around the last two so where they've ended these ones start and I wrap these round just two around the rest and do the same push it up as tight as I can get it now with the last two I'm gonna take it and wrap it around the whole bunch take it up and just wrap it around the whole lot like this till I've got a little end leave it I've got my little end here just gonna have that there chilling and take this one and go the opposite wrap anti-clockwise so that I can meet these two the two ends with my two last ends and what I do is I just tie a little knot in them to hold it together you end up with a little one like this see and I'll show you how to do one more. I get my group of six. Two, four, six. I always like to make sure that my front ones are the first two that I wrap because they're closest to the front of the head and you want them to look really curly. So like before, I'm just going round the rest of my dreads with these two. See? when I've got to the end of wrapping them round I push them up take my next two and do the same my last one I'm wrapping it round the whole bunch going up to back towards the top of my head got my little end it's my little end I don't do it all the way I just leave a little end go anti-clockwise with the other one when I've got enough just to tie the two like you're tying a shoelace and that holds the whole lot together cool so we're on number two I mean the more you do this the quicker you'll get guys this is how I achieve my really tight curls of course naturally they do sweat out because I, I gym every day and things like that but I found that this is the best way to get the tightest curls for me and this is the way in which they last the longest. This could actually be a little style couldn't it? <laughs> I'm not going to do the whole head, I'm just going to do a few because obviously my hair's already curled and then um, we'll see the finished look. Okay guys, so when you get to this point you're going to end up with a few little things wraps 
looking like this the whole head will have these all over not the cutest if you want to be out and about but you know if you can you can rock them go out rock it all the same and that's how it should be looking I've just tied the rest of my hair back so that you guys can see so now once it would have dried because obviously you had done this with it wet I usually leave this in for I don't know overnight if I can a day and a night I'll just wear a headscarf for a day or so I have a little hood hair dryer I let it dry because these can depending on how thick your dreads are these can be quite thick and it takes a while for the heat to penetrate to dry it all the way through you want it to be bone dry if you've done them really tight you know and neatly you can start with the outside one the one where you've tied you know the last two you pull them two out first and then the rest is easy to usually just untwine taking the outside ones off first just giving me that because I didn't do them that tight and now it's just about unwrapping these from around them two pulling the spiral and we've got our ringlets for example like that one that one's one of the best ones to give you an example of. some bits may be a bit straight because you've had to wrap other hair around it but once your whole hair's curly I'm telling you you don't even notice the straight ones because they're wrapped in with all that curl and volume now unraveling these on my whole head can take me about 10-15 minutes because I'm quite fast at it now but you know it may take you guys a little bit longer especially if you've done them really tight I think I've got them all out you can see really big and curly. That is how for now.